Hey Pebble Support, hey YouTube. I hope you can help me with my problem. First I have to say um, I'm very happy with my Pebble Time Steel. It works perfectly fine with the Android device uh, I have, the HTC One M9. Uh, no issues and very stable um, Bluetooth connection. On the other side with the iPhone 5 uh, running now since yesterday uh, iOS 9.1 before it was 9.0.2 I think um, I had the same issues which I have now um, to show you that problem because it's very uh, hard to describe it or uh, yeah to write you that in an email and I also googled for that problem and I'm not sure if I'm the only one which which this problem have um, I want to show you this uh, via video now Okay, let's do the, the pairing process just to make sure that I don't tell you anything wrong. Uh, general, then software update, and then here we can see I have the version 9.1. Let's go back. Uh, let's check if the Pebble, by the way, I did, the, I did the reset, a factory reset, and I forgot the Bluetooth connections. Usually it should come now because it's ready to pair on the pebble. Yeah, here it comes. Okay, you see it's nothing nothing connected. Um, then let's do the, let's say, normal process. Let's go to App Store, search for Pebble Time because that's the correct uh, app for my watch. Okay, let's download that and jump over the installation process. Okay, back on track. Um, you see here the Pebble Time app. Nothing, well, let's say almost nothing is running in the background. Um, then let's start the app and begin the pairing process. I have a Pebble Time, yes, I do. Um, then it asks me about my email address and my password. Um, one second. Here we are again. Um, yes, I have that Pebble Time Steel. Then select uh, the Pebble. Wow, let it pair. Okay. And pair. Well, come on, pair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was nice. So now checking for updates. Let's do that. Okay, I will over jump the update process. After that, I'm back. Okay, now the update is done and it tries to reconnect. Until that point, there is absolutely no problem. Yeah, and it vibrates again. That's... What is that? Oh, okay, that's a meeting which I have. So it seems to work. Um, it lets me choose the language. I think English is okay. Set language. Uh, enable notifications. Then again, pair. Of course, I will. Pair. Again, pair. Now it vibrates again. Grant access. Pebble time would like to send you notifications. Yes, 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 yes. Do that. Okay. Uh, my location data. Well, okay, of course, grant access. Oh, come on. Um, allow Pebble Time to access your location. Yes, of course, do allow. You are all set, it says to me. Well, then we are done for this for the moment. Okay. Um, I will install that one. It has to download it. That's okay. So you see the connection until now is okay. It's it's very good. The problem, well, okay, thank you. Um, 
it says connected uh, the green dot here in the middle says I'm connected so both devices says me we are connected that's great that's that's how it should work now to my problem um, when I close the Pebble Time app then it gets me around 30 seconds usually and you see it right now here we are disconnected the green dot is away um, if you want to be really sure we can go into settings and also here we are not connected so when I open again the Pebble Time app then I'm connected again and it as well um, again asks me to choose the language yes of course continue then we are here again so and then I close the app without force it to close well we are back here still the green point here we are still connected and it's not always the case by the way you have really to stay in the app um, to be to make sure that the watch is running if we close it again like I close every app then it takes another 10 to 20 seconds and we are disconnected again see green dot is gone we want to check that on the settings screen it's the same scenario I open the app we are connected I close the app not running in the background it immediately immediately disappeared now we are still connected it says let's wait um, for about 10 seconds yeah well I wanted that screen well here we are again okay now it says we are connected let's try to call myself and now it should work yeah you see okay you see this is how it should work then do that again we are going back going back see the app is not running now that's my problem sometimes it works and sometimes it just don't um, if we change the the watch face to that one that's also a cool watch face um, well um, if we close the app again and then we wait usually over here in the right corner you see the Bluetooth um, symbol that means it's not connected anymore which is now the case if I now call myself then the following thing happens the watch is not responding it's just on the iPhone but if I hang up I get a message that I have a missed call I mean come on how could that be on the Android it's working perfectly fine so that has to be a software issue to me okay let's go back um, just to make sure that you know from which pebble version I'm talking about it's um, where is it system I think information yep I got firmware let's lay it over there uh, 3.6.1 and as I said before on the iPhone I have the version 9.1 so if anybody has a clue why that is the case and I tried with a factory reset I tried to reconnect it I tried almost everything and if anybody has a clue why that is the case that it's not working properly or why I have that connection issues please let me know because 
on the iPhone I can just simply not use the Pebble. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, I'm very happy to hear your comments or uh, solution suggests. Thank you very much. Bye.